is that the enemy is attacking you from that angle. And that was written off as nonsense by Ken Wimabuni in the 1930s. So Ken Wimabuni, the founder of Shitoryu, good friends with Gichi and Funakoshi, they both trained in Ritosu together. He was one of Azuka's teachers along with Funakoshi. He said, said, the purpose of angles in kata is not well understood. And this has led to some people saying that this kata is for fighting eight people or some other such nonsense. Right, so that's what he said, like, like 80 years ago. The idea of one guy standing in the middle with eight people attacking around the side is nonsense. Right, he then goes on to say that the angle in the cabinet doesn't represent the angle they attack from, it represents the angle you should shift to. Or in other words, the angle you should attack them from. Right, that may not make sense, but hopefully you understand the words I've just said when I say it. So it doesn't mean when I say sideways movement in the cabinet, it doesn't mean like we do the sort of there, normally does a front kick. You have to do it wrong so I, I don't break my forearm. But I'm looking this way, he's stepping into his stance, so I've gone right. I'll just wait for his seven mates to get in the position and then we can start. <laughs> and then, and then he comes in with a front kick from there, which I go bang, and I step through with me. It's common, how, how it's done. I mean, it, that's not going to work as a block, it doesn't explain why the hands on the hip. You know, and, and again, it, it's to the side like that. And according to Mabuni, that's nonsense, so here's my take on it. Right? Um, I got hold of uh, a bit of contact with Lee's arm. Right, so I'm just, you know, just doing the cross point, bang, I've made contact with it. And I could use a knife hand, but I've already learned that. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to a 90 degree angle. The reason I'm going to move that angle is because I'm as far away from the hand I haven't got hold of as possible. Does that make sense? So Mabumi said, it's not that you're, they're attacking you from the side, it's that you're attacking them from the side. The cat is telling you what angle you need to go at them from. So what I want to do is I move to the side, and pull the arm down, so I get this. See how his head drops forward? Right? What I then do is, now the head's bang on in line with me. So I lunge forward from there, bang, and hit the head from there. Which will hopefully knock him flat down on, on his face. But if he doesn't, I'm going to neck crank him and take him down on his back. So I say this to the dog, he's got to get dropped, his only choice is how. You know what I mean? That's the way the cat attempts to work, right? So we, we're fighting away, we've made contact. And now I've got contact with his arm, I know this is the safe space. Does that make sense? That's where I want to be. So I'll snatch the arm from there and pull it forward. Yeah, you know, bring the head forward. It's as you need right for the shot the camera practitioners. There's a head drop from there, boom, and straight straighten and impact it. Everyone okay with that? And when I pull the arm down, see how it's taking the arm out of the way. I'm away from the danger hand, I've got a clean shot at the side of the jaw here. I make impact with the jaw, the brain shakes and passes out. If it doesn't, that's fine, because I'm going to neck crank it in a second. Is everyone okay to give that a little go? And does the idea of the angles make sense? Yeah, because you know, you can't argue with me on that one because Mabuni said he's a grandmaster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you the bits in a mind, but that's Mabuni's, okay? The, 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 the angles represent the angle of the attack. Okay, let's have a little play with that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, oh, very brown to be down right. You've got this bit, it looks over the shoulder, hand comes towards the shoulder, sometimes the arm extends, sometimes it doesn't, depending on the spine, and then you turn and drop it. And the, the more common explanation is you're blocking a kick. But if you think about it, if, I, if you just give me a kick there, so if I block it and I start it here, what's he going to be kicking me there? Yeah. He's going to miss by about six feet anyway. You know, so that's assuming I've got psychic powers as well. <laughs> oh, it's about to kick me. You know, I mean, how would you know otherwise? So I'll turn and block. The best thing I can do for me if he kicks me is what are you doing? <laughs> The cutter is never wrong. You know, the only thing that can be wrong is my or anyone else's interpretation of it. You know, that, that's all I So if the movement doesn't work, it's not the cutter's fault. It's my fault for not understanding it correctly. So when, when I see this idea of swinging all the way around to block a guy you've picked up through your psychic powers who's <laughs> kicking you, you know, six feet too far away, and then he smashes your forearm into his leg and busts it up, and then he does a punch so you can do the next bit. <coughs> you know, uh, uh, it's not that the cutter's wrong. It's that the interpretation is incorrect. Does so that kind of make, make sense? So this is, again, what I would go with. So same start from there. I pull Lee's arm out of the way. I've stepped through and I've gone boom. I've gone with my big in. If he doesn't fall from there, of course, what he's like to do is right himself up. When he does that, having hit this side, I'm not going to go here next. So I'm going to use my forearm to club it to the base of the skull at this 45 degree line. Again, it's a good place to kind of get your knockout, right? That's the prime of the arm, uh, the gidambra. Because again, that's something else. Every single part of your cat and movement does something. It's there for a purpose. So I hit him on there, and there's two things. One is it might just knock him out. He might fall in the big heap here. And I'm left with half a move not to do. You know, passed out too early, mate. We had this to do here. You know? <laughs> got to do the turning bit. Um, 
But if he doesn't, he'll go back and bring his head in towards me like this. What I'll then do is, you can't see at the moment, but I'll turn Lee around and grab grabbing his chin. I can also grab his nose and see the fingers in his eye socket and the fish hook it. For hygiene and comfort, we'll grab each other's cheeks, alright? So I, I pull my arm round from there, I impact, I impact, yeah, except for I grab the chin. And I step with this foot, keeping it, I don't step away from his head, I keep his head with me. I step. And then I pull this round, and we damn arrive, down we go. If he falls all the way down, it's great, if he's part of the way down, and run back and hammer fist it. That's what you see in versions of it anyway. Is everyone okay with that? I mean, hopefully, I mean, that, that's it. Hopefully, that makes more sense than the idea of turning the block and kick. So, you know, I'm, I'm moving, move, so I'm fighting away. I can not cut up with the arm. I'm moving away from the arm. I don't know, I'm moving and hitting. He hasn't dropped. I'm back in here. I'm ripping round, bang, bang, and I move away. Is everyone okay with that? That being that first kind of little sequence of the cat, okay? Okay, go play with that one.